Hey everybody, it's time to clean up the cart. So we've been uh, having a lot of fun taking it out on the road. It's got some good sandiness going and just general dirtiness. So we're gonna grab the pressure washer, maybe <laughs> clean up all the teas we found on the course and just get all this cleaned up all nice and pretty. Grab a dub dub. Crazy how many teas we found. Wow. So I've just got this uh, Karsher K5, I think it's called. Uh, premium, full control, something or other. Uh, I'll drop a link to it in the comments. It's a pretty nice pressure washer. I guess I should probably remove the uh, guardian alarm thing. Still working though. Awesome alarm. Missed one. Now I'm going to switch it over to the, uh, the shorty gun. Oh, need a tip. Let's get a tip. There we go. Probably should turn it back on. There we go. Probably should put it on tighter. There we go. Make it rain. Now you wouldn't think that the back edge of the cart up there would get very dirty, but when I put it on the trailer, it's uh, being trailered in reverse. So all the bug guts and stuff get stuck to the back of the roof. Kind of gross. And bird poop. Now for the fun part. Grab a dub dub. Just to make sure. Now to clean up the mess. And I just wanted to show you real quick that it is quite all right to get just a little bit of water and soap and everything in here. And I might rinse that out just a little bit, but you can see the, the amp's got some soap and water on it. Uh, it's got plenty of holes down here in the bottom though that all that'll drain out eventually. It's probably not good to have that sitting in the water, but whatever. I mean, I even have one of those. And I'll go ahead and wipe this down with a rag. Uh, you don't need to watch me do all that, but I'll just kind of clean up the tops of the batteries here. And I believe I've Got those filled up pretty good. Yeah, not quite touching the indicator, but good enough. And it's already looking much better, I think. Much better. Dry it off a bit. Oh, missed a spot. 
Might just dry it off a little bit, get some rain -X on the windshield, maybe put a coat of wax on it. Ooh. Let's go ahead and dry it off. All right, I got it all dried off. So I'm gonna go ahead and let it uh, air dry for a little bit longer in the sun. I gotta find my sunglasses, I set them down somewhere. I don't know where they went. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry and then we can put some nice wax on it. Hey, let's take a look at that roof. That's a real shiny, nice, pretty roof. Oh, nice and squeaky clean. I love the color of this hydro blue. So sparkly and shiny. And I did just go ahead and just pressure wash all this off. I didn't feel like being careful with it. So I just hit it with pressure washer. So pretty, love that color of blue. You gotta make sure it's good and dry. Now it's time for wax. Now, while I would usually be using Chemical Brothers butter wax on my car or whatever, I've got some of this new finish once a year. And for once a year in a car, it's not like it's gonna be out in the rain and the weather a whole lot. And I'll also be using these nice little uh, microfiber cloths, super cheap. I'll leave the description, or links in the description below for you. I guess it helps if you plug it in. Ooh, wait. There we go. And while an oral buffer is really nice to just knock it out real quick, uh, there's some little nooks and crannies that this thing is just not going to be able to get into in the little. Uh, crevices of the cart, so you might have to reapply with the regular cloth. Ooh, it looks so pretty now. Let me give you a closer look. Basically looks the same as before. It's blue, it's shiny. That wax does a pretty good job of not discoloring the trim. There's still a few spots right here that I could get a little bit cleaner, I guess. But I think it comes out pretty good. Can't see the roof. Eh, I'm not that tall. Hopefully it looks good out there. You tell me. Eh, or I'll just look at it when I review the footage. That thing looks pretty good. Now I just have to put all this mess back in here. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more uh, tips and tricks and stuff. Oh, this mess. I hate cleaning up.